Some of you may wonder how I operate uh, Morphex. In this uh, video I can uh, demonstrate how I start it up. First, I, <coughs> well this is a custom made uh, uh, remote control made by Jim Fry from uh, Lynx Motion many years ago. I have done some, uh, some changes by adding a pot meter at the top of the, each gimbal. Uh, it's getting a bit old now. It has uh, got some scars and uh, scratches from all the rolling and walking. <clears throat> Mostly rolling. That's uh, well, you can see some scratches uh, on the aluminium parts here and there because uh, when um, <clears throat> when it uh, it's in a rolling mode the uh, section scratches against each other it consists of uh, about uh, 31 high torque uh, servos that are pretty expensive and um, uh, well, the robot is uh, very durable and has uh, probably walked uh, a couple of hundred hours. Um, <clears throat> some of the parts uh, has even broken. This uh, server brackets, I have not had time to replace it yet, uh, has broken. I'm just using zip ties to hold it together. And uh, some of the servos also have been replaced, like this one is new. Well, not new, but uh, replaced. And <clears throat> because, uh, especially these femur servos, require very high torque and gets very high load uh, while walking and also uh, while rolling not as much as when uh, walking though you can also see how uh, precise the robot has been uh, constructed when it's in the spare mode you can see this uh, bracket has direct contact with the uh, this uh, uh, bracket here that also make uh, it very strong well turn it on <clears throat> I then uh, turn on the main power switch under here so now all the electronics and uh, LEDs have uh, power and starting by pressing zero, I can adjust the colors by using this uh, slider. I can place the camera here so you can see when I operate it. So, um, just a warning before I power off the servos, it uh, makes a lot of Annoying uh, high pitch sound, sorry for that. And the right slider here uh, rises and lowers the upper spill section. Uh, when, uh, when walking, it's very useful to have the upper spill section a bit uh, apart from uh, the legs I can uh, move in the section by using uh, the right joystick and uh, lock it in uh, upper position and then I lower it again like this to yeah. make the robot uh, appear differently so now it's in uh, hexapode mode, it uh, can walk 
I'm not going to demonstrate it on the table, but you get the picture. It lightens up the direction it works. Yeah, and it uh, when it works, it can also extend the body, as you can see. So I have two bolts of electronics in here. <laughs> they are getting rather old. The bolts. Uh, one of the bolts is an uh, Arc Thirty Two from uh, Basic Micro, and the bottom bolt is the Servo Controller bolt, SSC Thirty Two, and this is the IMU inside here. And the battery on the bottom here, the main power switch. By pressing button D, the upper spare section goes into a half spare. I then enter the spare mode and by twisting this pot meter more fix is a complete uh, ball. And now, by uh, moving the right hand joystick, I can adjust how much the sections are pushing out. And the left uh, joystick just uh, alternate the sections at uh, different speeds. Um, but 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 when I wanted to roll on the floor, it needs to know what um, angular position it has to the ground, and that's where the IMU can come in. If I activate it, you see that the top light, if we just have a degree, indicates uh, the top. When I push uh, a button, it starts rolling by itself. Yeah. I simply just hold it still and it stops. Yeah. Uh, that's a short uh, video of how it's operated. Thank you.